Hey there everybody, T1 Glistener Elf, here with some more of the Untap Open League. This is vintage, this is uh, a casual league because we didn't have enough to fire a competitive league for the team series. Uh, as you can see, I'm on something a little weird. You may notice some. Uh, you may notice, notice something with my uh, with my deck down there. But first, let's show what my opponent's on. A uh, hopper is on survival. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's going to use. Hello, there we go. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here it is. Survival of the fittest. So they're going to be able to discard a card, discard a creature, and add a creature from their deck to their hand. So they're going to abuse the fact that whatever they just discarded is going to the grave while tutoring up any creature they would like. Gee, I wonder how broken that might be. It, it does have a blue splash. This is a version that has Lavinia in the main board. It runs Ancestral Recall, Time Walk, it can pay for Mental Misstep. Uh, but it's not terribly blue. It's mostly a green deck. And it has some hate bears as well, hence the white. Phantasmal Image. A lot of these will be one ofs which is to say uh, a plurality of the entries are one ofs because Survival of the Fittest is a really good card. Now, I said this is vintage, and you may think, yeah, this is vintage. I mean, I see Bazaar of Baghdad and Moxon and Black Freaking Lotus. So yeah, this is, this is vintage. Uh, but this is what I'm running. Instead of submitting a list for MTG Goldfish, I just pulled one out of MTG Top 8. See, I'm not anticipating being able to play every round because of work, because of the holiday season. So. I did not take this particular league especially seriously, so if I get half the games in this league, I will be surprised. Uh, so I decided to just take a list that won a Grand Prix, the most broken modern deck that I could find that didn't have any restricted cards. So no Eldrazi Winter, Chalice of the Void, no Blazing Infect, because Ponder, and uh, something else. There's something else. Ponder and Gitaxian Probe, there we go. Um, so that means that we're running this jerk again. We're running you, buddy. Long time no see. Good to see ya. I'm gonna be looking forward to this. Now, uh, I don't have to worry about Graph Digger's Cage. <laughs> to be fair, though, I have to worry about Ravenous Trap, so, uh, and Yixla Jailer. And Scavenging... Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun, folks. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm going to say... Kep. Keep. So, uh, this is a uh, Hopper going first. <laughs> Good God. Uh, okay, so, yeah, as far as I can see, someone correct me if I'm wrong here, zero restricted cards in this deck. <laughs> I made the- I didn't make the list. I was about to say I made the list and I checked it twice, but, uh, that's why we're running Shocklands. I didn't even bother upgrading them to Dual Lands, I just kept them as Shocklands. Yay! Good times, folks. Good times. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, Bizarre, turn one. So that means that we're going to be looking at... Uh, Vengevine Collector Oof. Oof! I know it's not Oof. It's always going to be Oof to me, though. Oh! Hi! Yes! Hollow One! <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's try not to die. Let's please try not to die. Okay, uh, so we got a second Hugak. That's uh, that's not ideal. I see an Altar of Dementia. Oh god, what are you doing? Uh, demonetized. What's up? Tried to type in chat. Oh. It happens to me all the time. Has drawn a card from deck. I trust you. Hello. I have the benefit of being on camera, so if I accidentally draw a card, you will know that I put the right card back. <laughs> um, as far as I'm aware, Hopper doesn't have a... Uh, do you have a channel or stream to plug while well, I'm taking my turn here. Uh, so, we're going to go Wooded Foothills. And the fact that I did not, <laughs> the fact that I, I held my, my position, I did not get dual lands, I got shock lands, might bite me here. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Find a card. Do I have a basic mountain? Uh, nine. Wait, is it snow? No, it's not. Okay. So it would just be mountain if I had it, and uh, I do not. So let's see. Looking at our hand here, uh, I think it's more appropriate for me to get Blood Crypt. Um, I, 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 that seems to make sense in case I need to hard cast this Blood Ghast here. Uh, there is quite a bit in the deck that needs green, though. So. Mmm. Am I. Yeah, this is. Oh, so this is not the easiest deck in the world to play. It is not the easiest deck in the world. You know what? I'm going to go and get a Stomping Hello. Way too far. I said. Uh. I don't have Stomping Grounds in this list. Ha! Know thy deck, folks. Know thy deck. It's not my deck. Alright, so I should take that as a word. Uh, black is a little bit more important here. Just a little bit. Blip. Bl hello. Hello. Whoa, whoa, stop going. I'm right clicking. Okay. There we go. The joy of touch pads. My opponent doesn't see that, though, until I move off the life counter, so, uh... This is what I get for sticking by my principle and not getting... Maybe you are duels. So, yeah! <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming this resolves. It resolves. Dear goodness. Alright, so, Ogak, you can't spend mana, but you can cast it from your hand or your graveyard. So one of them is going in the graveyard. Exactly no one is going to be surprised by that. Uh, the other is Bloodgast, which is going in the graveyard. So, now we pass the turn and pray. <laughs> oh lord bless this thy hogak yeah we're gonna cast altar of oh we don't have a creature for altar okay uh oh yeah they don't have enough to pump there's not a uh uh riftstone portal in the yard take it should put me at four hey there we go what you got? What you got? They also didn't use the bazaar first. It it might have mattered. I don't know the contents of their hand, but a second Vengevine would be lethal, so... You know, as you do... Oh. Oh! Game two. Game two. Woo! <laughs> Not a turn two kill. Kind of a turn two kill. Kind of. So let's see. Go to sideboards. This is what I get, folks. This is this is entirely on me. <laughs> and I recognize this. Okay, so again, what to expect from the opponent? Uh, Ixla Jailer. <laughs> God. <laughs> Ravenous Trap. And uh, Scavenging Hose. So six cards. These two definitely... Yeah, yeah, six cards. Now, Hogak can play through Graveyard Hate. Um, it can play through some kinds of graveyard hate. Yixla Jailer is not the be-all, end-all, because remember, you can cast Hogak from your hand. You can also get to the point where you can just cast Vengevine, etc. Uh, but that's not usually how this is supposed to work. <laughs> not usually. Uh, huh. So... And Yixla Jailer, by the way, for, for people who don't know. Yixla Jailer, one of my favorite creatures in Vintage. Not, not even joking. Uh, cards in graveyards lose all abilities. Uh, but cards in the hand... Hogak, do not. So, uh, you still get a turn to 8 8 Trampler. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Untap, what are you doing? Uh. Uh. It broke on me, guys. <laughs> uh, untap broke. Okay, so this is going to be stupid to try to... Alright, so what I'm probably going to have to do is put the cards that I would like from my sideboard into my deck, 
draw them, put these back into the deck, it, oh my god, and then find cards to put in the side. I don't know. This is so weird. Yeah, man, this is weird. Okay, so you will be able to verify that I'm not cheating because camera, but uh, let's just treat this seriously for just a moment and stop being amazed by this. So, uh, Force of Vigor seems like pretty much an auto-include, as best I can tell. It gets rid of Survival, it gets rid of Hollow One. Uh, when we look at the deck again, for Survival, it gets rid of uh, Moxen, it gets rid of Hollow One, because we're- oh, this is in alphabetical order, it's CMC. Uh, so Hollow One is an artifact creature, Th that is important. Um, aside from that, though, Phyrexian Revoker... Um... Yeah, that, that's about it. So, it seems like a pretty easy slot in for me. Uh, Leyline of the Void also seems alright. Uh, but they can actually play through Leyline, uh, because Hollow One does not care at all, and Survival lets them tutor something up, so even if they discard something, they can get whatever else they'd like. Now, you'll notice when you look at their deck really quickly, I, I don't see any Rex Age effects, do you? I see a uh, Deputy of Detention, non-land permanent. That's... is that it? There's gotta be... there has to be more, right? And some of these are going to feel like it. They're hate bears, so they're going to feel like Rex Age effects. Um, but no, no, that's, that's actually it. Now I'm a little bit worried about jumping too far into this. You might have put your whole deck in the starts and play section when deck building. Yeah, that's probably on me, actually. Um, oh, man. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, yeah, okay, never mind, that might be me. This is actually my first game of Untapped since the update, so I figured it was that. But, no, it could it could just be that I'm an idiot. I mean, uh... <laughs> alright, alright. So, I think I'm going to bring in one Ley Line of the Void. Um... Three Force of Vigor. Probably do that. Hello? So... I don't want to go too far in on Ley Line of the Void. Redundant copies in the hand are... Eh. And, uh... What am I taking out while I'm at it? It's much easier when you can see. What am I taking out? Well, Assassin's Trophy probably gets to stay. Collective Brutality is just awful here. Um, Fiddle Push is not great, not particularly, but it will deal with Lavinia, and Lavinia can deal with Hogak because you can't pay mana to cast Hogak, and therefore you will always cast it for zero mana. Uh, so that's fun. Um, so F Fatal Push, I guess, gets to stay. Lotleth Troll is... <sighs> I, I want to have something big that can just go all in against uh, against a, uh, a Lotleth Troll. But they have Deputy... I mean, not uh, Hollow One, but they have Deputy of Detention, too. But that's going to be the case for everything, man. Glow Spore Shaman is coming out. So we're going to do Glow Spore Shaman, uh, Collective Brutality, I still want to keep the lot left troll in. Um, Stitcher Supplier is, as Frank Karsten put it, Black Lotus, Mox Jet, and Ancestor Recall all in the same card. So, uh, no, that, that stays. Crypt Breaker is a one-up for a reason. I, I don't think it... I think it's too slow. Uh, so it's probably coming out as well. Crypt, this, as you saw, that was a turn two-ish. KO, so yeah, Crypt Breaker is too slow, I think. Um, maybe, uh, now what's the last cut? This is hard, man. This is hard. Okay. Um, so Collective Brutality's out. Do I want to take out Assassin's Trophy? Alright, so Crypt Breaker, Shaman, Collective Brutality, and. You know, Carrion Feeder is interesting, too. Um, you only need one. It's redundant beyond that. Uh, and... I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, oh, I would love to just be able to go crazy with Carrion Feeder Gravecrawler. That's so good. That's so good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take out a Carrion Feeder. Ah. Uh, oops. Okay, okay. So here we go. Let's draw all of our cards. One, 
Hello? Two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Big oof. Off. Big off. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, put all of these on the bottom of the deck. Please. Yeah, thank you. Alright, before we do, we're gonna find cards. We're gonna take those cards and put them in the face down section here. And thank you for being in alphabetical order for me. Uh, now I just have to remember. So, collective brutality. This better be the face down one. Okay, we're good. Face down pile. Hey, we got there. It'll push Glow Spore Shaman. Uh, I said a Carrion Feeder. One Carrion Feeder. And... There's a not lot with Troll. Did I not? I thought I took the Glow Spore Shaman out already. Yeah, okay. I missed. Somehow I missed, I guess. And it was another one of, wasn't it? Crip Breaker. You're too slow. You're too slow. Come on, step it up. Okay. Uh, wait, I can... There's a hand action here, right? Put in deck. And then shuffle. Okay, we got there. I feel like I just earned an engineering degree. Dang, dude. Okay, so one land. Faithless Looting. Hogak. Vengevine, Force, Vengevine. This is such an easy keep. Draw two cards, hopefully one of which is a, one of which is a land. Uh, <laughs> and then discard double Vengevine. <laughs> All right, well, let's just, let's do our stuff. Let's do our stuff. All right. Hello? Okay. So... I'm going to... Now thankfully I was... Uh, now that I think about it, I'm glad that I was dead regardless of using the shock land. Uh, I'm glad that it ended up working out that way. Uh, oh man, you know what? We may not have green mana next turn because there's no copy of Stomping Ground in here. Not even one. Huh. Huh. Okay, well, not like we have a choice here. The only thing that we have that produces red mana is the two copies of Blood Crypt, and I am... Well, I say it's not quite that bad. It's not that bad, folks. I mean, here's Polluted Delta, here's Seder Wayfinder. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, I think we missed you, bud. So, yeah, we're, we're getting a Blood Crypt. This is what I get for playing somebody else's list. Granted, though, this won a GP, so there is that. I am sick, and I do not care. Like, I'm on the tail end of it, though, so I'm fine. If you're seeing this video, it means I survived being sick. If you don't see this video, yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Oh! Oh! Uh, we can make it work? Like, we can still tap Dryad Arbor for Hogak. So, uh, Double Venge Vine gets binned? Like, there's, there's no way that's not the case, right? Double Vengevine gets binned. Uh, you and you get in there. And then you get in there. And then pass the freaking turn. Oh, yeah. Okay, so next turn, even if we don't find another land, we'll have Stitcher Supplier, Dryad Arbor, and we'll be able to tap both for Hogak. I cannot see what this card is. That's a Misty Rainforest. Uh, okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Ha-ha! <laughs> Alright. Stitch a supplier. When it enters or dies, put the top three into the graveyard. I'm assuming that this resolves. No, no, no. Mental misstep is in the deck. Yep. Okay. So we're good there. Uh, what's the, uh, the action for this? Discard? I guess? Discard. It's weird to say discard from your deck, but yeah, I guess that's how it works. Discard three. Oh my god, what did I get? <laughs> okay, we get to do all the things, and I love it. Alright, so once again, review. Hogak, five and... <laughs> I love this game so much. Alright, now, downside. We will not, because this is not cast, 
What, 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 you're cast, though. You're cast. You are cast. Alright, we're, we're getting there. I still have to delve the rest away, so give me a moment. Hello? What? Huh? Okay. You got there. This is such a stupid card. This is a stupid card. This is such a stupid card. This is a stupid card. I. Uh, what is this? Oh! Oh! Claps. Yeah, yeah, uh. Huh. Well, <laughs> you got me. Y you got me. Ravenous Trap is a, it's a card, all right. It's a card. Uh, still, <laughs> still, I get an 8-8 Trampler. I mean, I guess there's that. And next turn, I'll get to try to do it again. I have a Seder Wayfinder and a Force with an extra Hogak. 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 All right, what you got? I swear to God. I swear to God. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry for the slow. Oh. Do I do it now? Uh, there's no. Well, okay. No, there is potentially a reason, but they can just fire off the Elvish Spirit Guide whenever they feel like it. So. uh... I mean, I'm not gonna get the second Hogak anyway. So. uh... If it's not your turn, yeah, I think it's it's fine. And then it's pretty pretty clear what I'm gonna hit. <laughs> Blip. Yeah, gotta do it EOT. Have to do it EOT. Uh, do you, would you like to respond with a spirit guide? Nine. Nine, nine front. All right, so let's see what we have. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, we'll draw. Nothing to dredge now. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm still going to do it. Um, I can just hit for 10 this turn. Do I, do I just hit for 10? Is that the play? And then hold this up just in case? But then again, I mean, what are they going to do? Another survival? Uh... Yeah, I, I don't think I'm particularly worried about that. I think I'm supposed to... Maybe I hit for 9, and that puts them at 10. I'll still have lethal on board, plus I'll have some more in the yard. I think that that's correct, isn't it? So, let's go. I think that this is correct. Seder Wayfinder. Uh, and who knows? <laughs> maybe I'll find... Uh, a grave crawler? No, 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 I don't have the mana for that. I don't have the mana for grave crawler. Well, no, wait a minute. I could. I could have the mana for grave crawler. I, I need to find grave crawler and a land. Uh, you know, it, it can happen. You never know. You never know. Alright. So the way that this is worded, reveal the top four cards. You may put a land card from them into your hand. Put the rest in your graveyard. So, uh, reveal the top. Look at the top four. How many would you like to look at? Four. You all, you all make sure I'm not cheating. Okay. I see an overgrown tomb. And an overgrown tomb. Lotless Troll, Blooming Marsh. Uh, so, I guess we'll get the Blooming Marsh. Uh, reveal this. Play this? Question mark? And then the rest just goes to the yard. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You all make sure I'm not cheating. Alright. Yeah. Um. Okay. And then go to combat. Swing for nine. Uh, another thing I could do is I could leave back the Stitcher Supplier just in case they have like a, like a Venge Vine so that if it attacks, this dies because that fuels the yard. I don't think that that's the play here though. Uh, I would like to have lethal if they present a blocker 
for like a, a chump. Uh, we're going to say pass. That means the shields are down for force. Shields are down for force. Wow. I guess I'm dead, game. <laughs> Modern 2 OP. Please nerf. Please nerf. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's try this again. I will. Uh... <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? I think that there's a case, maybe, for bringing in Fatal Push uh, when I'm on the draw, because it can get rid of Lavinia. It gets rid of Yixla Jailer. I think there's a case. And what? Pray tell. Do I? Oh, jeez. So. <laughs> I love this game so much. The decisions, man. The decisions. Yeah, dude, you're crazy. Carrion feeder, you're crazy. Uh huh. So, uh, carrion feeder, grave crawler, shriek horn. Oh, excuse me, not Shriekhorn. Altar of Dementia. Uh, sack a creature. Target player puts the number of cards equal to the sack creature's power from the top of their library into the graveyard. It gives you another win condition. Uh, you know what? You know what? There is a case for taking out Altar of Dementia. In this matchup, I'm not going to use it to target my opponent because they're playing survival. I'm going to use it to target myself. Um, but in... Mmm... <sighs> I think, ah, yeah, it's still worth keeping. It's still worth keeping, I think. Uh, but maybe I take out Carrion Feeder again? Like, okay, so they have Mental Misstep, so I can take out Shriekhorn. I can take out Shriekhorn. I don't know that that's good, but a Fatal Push might be, well, I mean, I'm trading a Shriekhorn for a Fatal Push. I mean, I'm going to get just as susceptible to Mental Misstep. Uh, Carrion Feeder seems too good to take out more copies of it, uh, but, like, I don't know, man. I'm, okay, I'm gonna take out two more copies of Carrion Feeder. I'm going to take out two more copies in exchange for the two Fatal Pushes. I, I think that that's fine in this spot. Uh, you know what? I actually could take out Force of Vigors time, er, times two. I would like to do something against turn one survival, and I still would like to do something against Hollow One, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep those in actually. So uh, yeah, dude, let's let's do this again. I'm sorry, Strider Strider Seven X. His you know his manner of speaking has rubbed off onto me. So uh, let's do this again. Hence the yeah, dude. Oh oh I. Oops. <laughs> okay. Normally. I'm supposed to draw the cards first and then put them face down. We're we're really good magic players here, folks. We are really, really good magic players here. You're watching me, you know, but still, still. Okay, what happened here? Why are you not Are you seeing this? Okay. Yeah, there's there's still There's Schrodinger's carrying Schrodinger zombies. They're both things at once. All right. Oh my god. All right, and then glow spore, and then one more. Whoops, one more. Ah, uh, not you. Definitely not you. What was it? Oh, I, uh huh. I'm at three fatal pushes. Three fatal pushes. Uh, oh, Crit Breaker. Yay. That's it. That's what it was. Okay, six cards. Good. Um, and then... Shuffle. Oh, there we go. And then draw seven. This is so... This feels so dumb. <laughs> this feels so dumb. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, Astro Turf. Oh. Hello! Hello! 
uh, we can do anything we want with this hand, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say keep. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. I, I missed they did a London Mall. I actually, I missed that. Okay. I haven't even shown off my tea yet. That, that's odd for me. Uh, once again, zero fox given. Uh, and this time, it is... Pre-game effects? Uh, let's see if I know how to spell. Nine, nine... Freud? Okay. No, mi amigo. <laughs> no, mi amigo. I'll take that as a no. Uh, don't take that as a no. I'm, I'm pretty bad at this. I'm pretty bad at this. Alright, uh. EOT. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's do, uh, this. Hey, 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 got there, got there, got there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got an actual two for two. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, so, I think you're supposed to play the Stitcher Supplier first. You get more information, uh, before you get the Faithless Looting to do its thing. So, given that, uh, you know, it makes sense to do the Blooming Marsh first, but I can do some deck thinning by playing a Polluted Delta first. Um, that's fine. It's fine. It, it actually might matter in this matchup, unfortunately. Uh, it might matter. So, oh yeah, yeah, you're over here. Discard the top three. Let's see what our bounty is. Ooh, okay. Okay. I, I don't like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Uh huh. Well, time for Hollow One to show up. And this is why we keep the Lotless Troll in. Oh, okay. Uh, I missed it. Double, oh, okay. Let's have a Venge Vine off, please. That should be Bas... No, 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 you wouldn't. It wouldn't be Basket Roller. It's Death Road Shaman. Basket Roller, they would have just played for free. Uh... You just played two lands. Yo! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good. Life is good. Uh, this is vintage. You just played a Moxon, so I guess it kind of maybe threw you off a little bit? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to say... Uh, untap. Let's draw. Life is good. Okay, I see a blood crypt. Um. So this one is discard a creature card for Lotless Troll. Uh, notice the contents of this beautiful, beautiful hand. Uh, which is to say, eh. Um. Uh, I kind of just want to cast, play the Blood Crypt here, instead of using the Fetch Land. Um, once again, I, my life total seriously can matter. Uh, we are about to not be able to... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to cast two creatures this turn, no matter what. Uh, so that Venge Vine is gone, but I'll get the, uh, the Grave Crawler back. So, at least there's that. I'll have Gravecrawler, if nothing else. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any free creatures like your Basking Root Walla. So I'm going to take two here. I don't know. So, here we go. Mental Misstep. M&M. 
What you got? What you got? Do 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 you have it? <laughs> Shoutouts if you remember that. Okay, um Oh! Oh! Okay. So uh stuff is happening. Overgrown tomb and um guys I kinda just wanna do it all. Kind of just want to do it all. Like. So, I don't have a shriek horn for carrion feeder shenanigans, unfortunately. Um, and this is discard a creature card, so that's not going to synergize with Gravecrawler necessarily. Gravecrawler comes back to the field. The one time you don't want that to be the case. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to keep one of these lands so that I can cast and regenerate uh, Lot with Troll in a given turn. So we're gonna do Overgrown Tomb and... Dear goodness, this is tough. Oh my goodness, this is tough. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. You can't block anyway. You don't have Trample, but you do, bud. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Decisions, decisions. You're you're freaking ancestral recall, so uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to get rid of you. You you do way too much here. That's my one carrion feeder left. I don't want to lose this. Oh. oh man, oh man, oh man. Do I? Do I do it? Do I do it? I'm going to do it. Call me crazy. I am indeed completely crazy. But, uh. There we go. Alright. And of course, as soon as I say that, watch me, you know. Oh, you know what? That's eh, fine. It's fine. Oh, no, no, wrong pile. Wrong pile. You are a zombie. You are a zombie. Why did I do that main phase one? Uh, I mean, they're not going to block. They're just, they're not. This is a Stitcher supplier. They're not going to block. Alright. Gonna hit you for one. Uno. Uno. I mean, oh, they have double Venge Vine. Jay, Jay, you idiot. They have double Venge Vine. Should have saved that. Should have saved that. Dude! Dude, what are you doing? That's okay. Because you can't block. <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's not worth it. One point, absolutely not worth it. Okay. Well, okay. Get punished hard. It's possible. I know one of those is a land. It's possible that they don't have two creatures. It's not going to happen, though. Not realistically. But see, there's a hollow one. And they just need... Oh, no, 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 no! That had to be the last one. Okay. Okay, we got there. We got there. Never mind. Uh, so they needed to have a Basking Root Walla, too, to do it. Uh, we're going to say... We're going to EOT. We're going to threaten a Force of Vigor. Nah. Alright. Draw? Draw! Monster Cado! <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. They're holding up the green mana. Jeez Louise. Well, let's, uh, let's look at the contents of this graveyard. Because, uh, we have enough that we can get the Hogak down now. Uh... This Venge Vine is gone. No matter what, this Venge Vine is gone. And so, what I could do is I could actually cast Hogak now, tapping these two, these two suckers, leaving just the Faithless Looting or the Force of Vigor. We'll do the, yeah, we'll do the Faithless Looting because that actually can be flashback. Uh, man, this is, 
Okay. I'm sorry, Deathrite Shaman. I'm sorry. You're doing good work. But... Hello? Oh, that was weird. You're doing, as the, you're doing your best. Now, if, if you would like to uh, make some mana, please use your own. Alright. It's only five, folks! It's only five! Why? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, the, the cute 4-4. Four -four. I have an 8-8. Eight -eight. <laughs> Where's your hollow one now? Um, but that's not all. But wait, there's more! Alright, no Billy Mays here. Um, we can play the Lotleth Troll here and just jam it, I guess? I don't know that that's necessarily right. We might be better off trying to refill our yard with Stitcher Supplier. Uh, you know what? No, no, it's better. It's better because we have Carrion Feeder Stitcher Supplier. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, Carrion Feeder Stitcher Supplier is a little bit of a combo. Alright, so this might actually give them something. Uh, unfortunately, any Venge Vines here aren't going to work because uh, it only gets the trigger on the second spell. So make sure this is cool. It's cool. Let's do this. Am I? No. No, this is not. Don't. They can still do some crazy stuff. Let's not. Let's not count our blessings just yet. Not just yet. All right. Is that all? Is that all? Past turn. I swear. I swear. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep. Which one are we eating? It's the Seder, right? It's got to be the Seder. Uh, yep. Yeah, Seder Wayfinder. That's the one. Yeah, I hit a creature. So, you know, you do what you have to do. You do what you have to do. All right, Hollow One. Big Bowie. Big Bowie. Alright, so obviously I can't do uh, Force of Vigor here. So let's draw Monstacado. Nope, not a mon Monstacado. <laughs> no Monstacado. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. I just. I. Huh. Okay, well. So, things I can do here. Can <laughs> swing with Hogak and Carrion Feeder. And Gravecrawler for that matter. Heck, why not? Because I can just sack it into Carrion Feeder. Uh, I'm gonna end up sacking, if they block Hollow One to Carrion Feeder, sack, 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 add 4,000 cards to my graveyard. Uh, and then they'll trade. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right, isn't it? We won't do the Faithless One yet. Even though I could hit Vengevine, they have Deathrite Shaman to eat it anyway, so I'd need double Vengevine somehow. Uh, we're going to go you, you, you. Okay, so yeah, I, I guess I need to give a number as well. Uh, so it's swing 11. And they, they're doing some math here, thinking. Uh, notice, no creatures in my yard. Now, granted, that doesn't matter because, let's look at their yard. They have creatures. Uh, they're gonna eat the oof. Oof. I will pronounce it oof until the day I die. <laughs> I uh, okay. Think, alright. Final answer. Just making sure, you know. You never know. And I am going to check. Okay, we're still recording. I, I worry every time. Yeah. <sighs> Thinking. I gotta do that myself. That's important. Okay, so uh, it seems pretty clear to me. I, I think the answer is pretty clear, uh, which is eat the grave crawler. Eat the two Stitcher Suppliers, and then add four trillion cards to the yard, uh, and then cast... I'll still have... You're not a zombie, but you're a zombie. I'll still have 
uh, a zombie left to cast Gravecrawler again, sack it, Gravecrawler, and that'll get me back any bench vines. So, uh, let's do, I'll, I'll just spell it out, sack, SSX2, we'll do X2, and Gravecrawler to Carrion Feeder. in that order. Sound good? Oh, yep. Cool. Cool, we got there. Okay. So, stitch your supplier number one. You die, and then trigger. Ah. So, Ravenous Trap wouldn't work yet. Uh, we're gonna get some mileage in here. <laughs> Hopefully. Watch that be Ravenous Trap, folks. I'm in, uh, I'm in trouble. Okay. Okay. Alright. Pro tip for dating. Uh, the word, the letter K is never an acceptable text. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, there's Vengevine. Huh, okay. So, if I find a second Vengevine, this Deathrite Shaman will not be able to stop all that I'm cooking. Alright, so that's one. Where, there you are. Number two. Trigger. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Alright, okay. <laughs> I, I see that and I think of uh, Saitama from One Punch Man. Okay. From that final fight. Spoiler. Spoiler. Season one, season one final fight. Okay. Nothing great there, but uh, we take it, I guess. I swear, Ravenous Trap would kind of blow me out just a little bit. Blip, blip, blip. Alright. Twelve? I'm gonna try to try to see if they'll eat the grave crawler instead. Okay, okay. Nope, they're not eating grave crawler. They're not having any of that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just try to get Ven. Nah, do we try to get Vengevine back? Is that the play here? Is getting Vengevine back the play? No matter what, I think I'm supposed to get Gravecrawler here first, just in case they do have Ravenous Trap. Uh, so we're going to pay one to get Gravecrawler. Now, I have a few choices here. I can try to Faithless... to cast... use Faithless Looting as a verb, Jay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll just let them have the Venge Vine, I guess. Sack. Oh, hello. Please? Alright, there we go. Response to Vine Trigger, yep. Om um, nom 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 nom. Om um, nom nom nom. Yep, that's a thing. That's a thing. Alright, and uh... You're not bigger yet. Well, we'll get there, maybe, but you're not bigger yet. Uh, I guess we'll pass the turn. Guess. They they can probably, 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 better known as Saffron Olive, they can probably still make the comeback. They're at a virtual 13 here. Um, it's, it's certainly possible. Guess who doesn't have Trample? Carrion Feeder. So, uh, it, it could happen. You don't know. You never know. Virtual 13 is, is a real number here. Uh, if I put these two together, I have 13 plus the Gravecrawler, but again, no Trample, so they're not really dead yet. You are just an avatar instead of a zombie avatar, which we didn't need you to be even more broken. Oh, oh, let's see what they have. Do you have another hollow one? Nope. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I swear to God. If this, if this works... If this works... Uh, 
Um, I don't fetch here. I, I play the Faithless Looting first. Draw two, discard two. Um... I think that that's what I'm supposed to do. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get that Ness in. Okay! So I have no soul, because <laughs> that's the way to start that sentence. <laughs> I have no soul because uh, Ness in Melee. I hate playing the character. He's fun to watch, like, uh, Jim Jam Flim Flam or Hungrybox play him, but otherwise, I am not a, not a big fan, to be honest. Okay, so we'll go... Oh, hello, there you go. Just took you a sec. Well, jeez. <laughs> huh. I wonder... Yeah, I'm sorry, Lotless Troll. I keep wanting to bring you up, but you're just... You're... Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, so now Raven's Trap is online. Three cards in the yard. Three cards in the yard. I'm gonna just do this now. Uh, -uh. set you right here. Where's that going? Where's that? Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Lavinia would have been nice a while back. Turn 1 Lavinia would have just broken me. Uh, I could still play, but Hogak would not be able to show up, so this would be a very different spot. Ah, <sighs> man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Also, fun fact, Strider7x, the Paper Mario YouTuber, he, uh, he plays Falco in Melee. Good times. Apparently he doesn't play competitively anymore, though. Uh, oh, there's another Grave Crawler. Faithless Looting. If I ever allow myself to have a third mana, I, I guess Flashback is a thing. Uh, so, gee, I guess... I, I wonder what we're going to do here. I don't think that there's a reason not to attack with Grave Crawler as well. Again, Virtual 13. Uh, and these are exactly 13. Well, it's 14 when we count the Stitcher Supplier. Swing, uh, 15. Thank you very much. Hello? Show up. Uh, lag? Okay, there we go. <laughs> what, what the heck, Chrome? What the heck, Untap? What the heck, my internet? Okay, um... Okay, that's that's exactly what you're supposed to do. To a T. That is exactly what you are supposed to do. Uh oh oh, oh we're eating grave crawler? Yeah, we're eating grave crawler. Okay, that's fine. I I completely understand. Uh See, carrion feeder, om noms, grave crawler. And then uh, eight. Uh, it has been changed. Uh, did not do the stitcher supplier. I will keep a blocker back. I, I don't need to go any further than I already have. I swear. If this modern deck wins, uh, do we have any spectators? What does this mean? One card in hand. Uh, keep revealed to... Oh, nope, no spectators. I will have video proof. <sighs> I love this game. Okay, so Basking Root Walla Hollow One would be a way... If you had another Hollow One, they could temporarily deal with the Hogak. I have a theoretical out that's not going to do it. GG. Alright, uh... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. And then the next three. What were the next three? Um, we'll say... Q... 
keep revealed to player two. And you guys can all see. So these would have been the three cards that Stitcher Supplier would have given me, plus the draw. Uh, so like end of turn, Stitcher Supplier. Man! <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> figure a bit. Let me, let me, by the way, no Hogax in, in yours. Uh, why not have one in yours? That, I, I do genuinely mean that as a, as a, a question. Uh, I, I know that there are a lot of creatures that are blue or white, and that wouldn't necessarily work for it, but there are a lot of green creatures in, in the survival deck, too. Looking at the list, Bastion Uwala is basically free. Deathrite Shaman, Noble Hierarch, Collector Oofy. Oof. Uh, oof. <laughs> oof! Scavenging Ooze. Uh, Elvish Spirit Guy, but that's not really cast. Leovold. Vengevine, kind of. Yeah, okay, it's not it's not super high to just keeping it real. It's not super high. Um, some list play one. I've never tried it, but it does seem good. I, I don't like... I'm not in four Hogak survival uh, camp in Vintage. I, I like one. I think that one is fine because adding more... Yeah, it's legendary and all that, but also it takes away space from the hate bears that you really would like to have in your deck. Um, but it does seem good. <laughs> This, this, EPT Hopper, EP Thop, Thopter, <laughs> Thopper, no, it, it's EP, whatever, uh, plays this every single, wait a minute, wait, wait, you play survival, oh, no, I, you left, oh, no, you left, okay, um, Hopper plays survival every league, like, Hopper is really freaking good at this deck. But in the same way that you can beat a Death and Taxes deck in Legacy with like a standard mid-range deck, because Death and Taxes is so specialized at doing what it does, similarly, apparently, Vintage Survival gets beaten by frigging Hug. <laughs> I love this game. Can you tell? Can you tell, folks? I love this game. I love it. I love this game so much. Look at this! Look at this unplayable mess. <laughs> All right, that's that. That's that's that. Oh man, one hour. Oh, oh geez. Uh, you got that one. Et moi, et moi. All right. So uh, I know you're watching this, Rukulin, and I know you're Austrian. So you speak in, and write in German. I. <laughs> Nine mind Freud, I'm trying to think of how you spell that. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, take care everybody. I will see you all later. Bye bye. I love this game.